It's Thursday, and so it's time for a summary of yet another week. Welcome back to another Walk and Talk. I'm your host, Crypto Father, and this week passed by very smoothly. Uh, it was holiday, holiday. We had holidays until Wednesday. The Lunar New Year came and went eventfully uh, and today is Thursday which means the week is gonna be very very short so that's nice because I'm feeling very lazy a number of things happened this week that for me personally felt quite exciting over the past week um, I recorded two solid videos the first one uh, I recorded last weekend uh, climbing Winsu Sun and that was the video about rock climbing in Ulsan. Um, the video turned out to be very lengthy and while I was editing I realized that I wouldn't be able to squeeze the entire three hours of footage into a 10 minute video because there were things that I wanted to show in the video so I decided to split it up into several parts and I believe it might be a three or four uh, part video. Uh, the second video I recorded was on during the Lunar New Year which I think will be of some interest to some people, uh, particularly those who have never experienced the South, the South Korean culture or the traditions that are involved in, uh, in celebrating the Lunar New Year. As I sneakily, I was able to sneak into my, my family's uh, tri uh, home and record the, the proceedings, the bowing and all that stuff. So um, surprisingly, my, my parents-in-law had no problem with it. So that's a really good thing. And uh, I hope to edit that video ASAP, hopefully today, and have it posted over the weekend. Which means that uh, uh, climbing videos will have to be uh, released sometime over the next week. I've learned to how to use an editing, uh, a new editing software, which is DaVinci's Resolve. It's a fantastic editing software for, for anyone who, who does video editing and hasn't used DaVinci's Resolve yet. I highly recommend it. It uses a lot of fantastic features um, and for some reason, I don't know why, I think it's got something to do with my computer. It keeps crashing, which is very annoying, but I hope to have it fixed in one way or another. I use Shotcuts as a backup application because it seems that um, DaVinci's Resolve is a heavy program. It's, uh, it's Windows versus Linux in this particular case, I think. DaVinci Resolve being the windows of the editing programs and uh, Shotcut being the Linux. It's got a lot less weight underneath uh, Shotcut does, which means that it runs on my computer. I had DaVinci Resolve up and running once uh, over the past week, which is when I edited my the climbing video. And uh, that's also when I learned how to use it. Not in its entirety, but uh, enough features to allow me to do some basic editing and I find that program to be just absolutely amazing. And so I hope I can figure out how to work this because that's what I want to use from now on. So as you know, the name of my YouTube channel, Crypto Father, um, derives from my initial goal to create a YouTube channel based around cryptocurrencies. That hasn't really solidified in the way that I wanted it to, but it did prompt me to to actually starting with the YouTube channel and creating content. Um, but the name came from my involvement in cryptocurrencies. And although it's not a very significant one, um, it did lead me to discover Steemit or Steam, the cryptocurrency Steam, which I know some of you may have heard of. Steemit is a platform that allows, it's similar to the to Medium, uh, which is a, uh, I guess a journalist type platform where people can go um, and publish articles and uh, readers can upvote those, those articles and for, wh for which the writers are rewarded in Steam dollars. Um, so basically, if you are a article writer, if you can write content that is beneficial to people, you can post it on Steemit and 
immediately get paid for it. In addition to the Steemit platform, there's also the DTube platform, which is uh, a YouTube alternative, a decentralized YouTube alternative. Uh, it's got a much, much smaller community. The numbers that I saw were somewhere in the 300s. So literally there were about 300 people that used DTube and maybe about 5,000 people that used Steemit. So there's a lot more active users on the Steemit in the Steemit community or in the, on the Steemit platform which just involves writing and publishing articles. And there's a tiny number of uh, content creators uh, on the DTube platform which allows people to make and publish videos. And I've been getting involved in it a little bit more um, and uh, some, some people have taken notice of my, of my channel which is always nice to see, it's always appreciated, right? A little bit of uh, acknowledgement, it's always, it goes a long way. Um, and yesterday I had, a, um, I had a short introductory interview with the creator of uh, uh, Deco Operation, which is a group of Steemians and DTube creators, DTube content creators. Um, and we just sat down for literally maybe five or six minutes had a quick introductory video um, just to say hello to the people in the cooperation and to DTube. These are really the things that, are, that have been happening over the past week. Um, this weekend, I don't even know what we're going to do, but I hope to spend a lot more time editing. Um, the weather is getting nicer. I've seen another murder of crows swivel around Gyeongju city. Um, and it feels very warm today, so I'm like totally convinced that spring is coming. It's on track. So pretty soon I'll be able to shed this ridiculous scarf, which is a gift from my wife. And although I was quite against using it in the beginning, because it's super duper long and it's a bit out of my style range, but it's super duper warm. So. In any case, I hope to shed all these layers and because uh, I'm tired of it. I'm a jeans and a t-shirt kind of guy and although my, my job requires me to kind of dress up semi-casually, uh, I hope to slip into comfort and, and dirty old jeans as soon as I can and hopefully head out into the cities. I wonder if it would be possible to shoot videos in the evening. Maybe that's, that's going to be my theme. Yeah, Ulsan City in the evening. Our Live in Korea YouTube channel has reached 180 subscribers, uh, which is always nice to see. Of course, I'm maybe being over ambitious and I'd hope things to progress very, very quickly. But that's 10 more people since last week that are interested in hearing to what I have to say. So that's nice. 180 people subscribe to the channel and are uh, some of them are really well engaged uh, with the content and with asking questions and stuff, so it's good to see. Um, Monday coming up, uh, we've got another Hagwon podcast. This time it's going to be podcast 9. We had a very good turnout uh, last week, last Monday. Probably the best so far. Uh, we had, I think, 8 or 9 people in the chat room, um, half of them participating, which was really good to see, and I hope that... Uh, um, that this will continue and our audience will continue to grow. Uh, we still have a long ways to go in terms of um, managing the content and how to present and stuff, but uh, it's a learning curve. Um, neither myself nor David have ever done anything like that, so uh, we learn as we go along, but I think it's getting better. And we always welcome the tip and advice from people um, because we can always use anything and everything. Uh, there are a couple of people that would probably be very good to have us uh, um, as uh, guest speakers and we're hoping to arrange that with, with some time and effort. Um, but in the meantime, it is what it is. But I hope to, to see you guys come in on uh, this upcoming Monday and uh, tune in and participate.
This is another sign to let me know that spring is coming. The uh, ground keeper workers are back maintaining the park. Probably gonna be planting flowers and plants and all that stuff around the park, so you do that in spring. There you go. So that's it for today's walk and talk. Hope you enjoyed all the novelties uh, and stay tuned for this weekend uh, for the video on Solal traditions. A sneak peek into a South Korean family's traditional home or home's traditions. Remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next one. Crypto Father out. Oh, 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 oh,